Hello everyone, welcome to Creative Space. If you're here for the first time, I hope you enjoy your stay. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for being here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a fluid head tripod called the Magnus VT300. Now, if you didn't get this particular model, don't worry, this is more of a review for budget tripods, anywhere from $70 to maybe $90. I purchased this on Amazon for $80, hoping that I could get a nice fluid head tripod. A fluid head is designed for video. It gives you nice panning motion so you can get nicer cinematic shots. Now, if you're like me, you've probably been using a photography tripod, which the camera is on right now, and so you're hoping to upgrade but not dump a whole bunch of money on the really high-end stuff, and you're wondering, is it worth it? Can I get a budget fluid head and still get really nice shots? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. I looked at the reviews and it said the Magnus was pretty solid, so here I have it. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a, you know, overview of the features and then I'll give you some footage compared to the photography tripod so you can see if it's exactly what you're looking for. Starting at the very bottom, you have these rubber legs to keep it stuck to the floor without sliding everywhere or damaging your floor. I noticed they did give me three extras, so if these get damaged in any way, shape, or form, you can just pull them off the ball and put the other ones back on. Right above it is the latch system for the legs, which if you haven't seen these before, it's pretty simple. You flip it up and it loosens the connection. You can slide it as far as you want, and then you can lock it back down. There is a risk with these. They can loosen over time. So I'm going to keep an eye on this, but right now it's been standing up for a few days and it's been fine. We move up the shaft about halfway, there's a lock mechanism, so if you're carrying this around or trying to move it, you can keep it in position without it flopping everywhere. You twist it and it will stay locked, and then you can unlock it by twisting it the other way. Now we've reached the kind of like the neck area. There is a level to show you, you know, how level your tripod is. This is not too beneficial when I'm in a house because they're built pretty level, but if you're shooting outside, this is very useful. And then there are two different features, little knobs here. One of them loosens the neck of the tripod, and then the other one extends the neck. If you want to extend this neck, you just loosen the knob, then on the other side, twist the lever system, and you'll see it'll extend out, and then if you want to lock it, you just twist that first knob again. Then you reach the fluid head itself. Now there's a gel inside to keep it nice and fluid, and mine, when I tried to turn it too fast, started loosening or making like sounds like the gels moving around like suction or I loosened the seal or something so I don't know if that's problematic so far it has not been but keep an eye out make sure you're gentle there are little notches to show you how far you're rotating and there's some big notches to show you when you're straight there are two knobs to loosen the pan and tilt the one on the bottom loosens the pan so when you twist that counterclockwise you will see that you can now pan sideways easier when you loosen the one on top you'll find you're able to go up and down easier. One hiccup I would like to add is that when I leave the handle loose, it will eventually droop down. So I have to lock it in position. So that's just a bit of a weakened thing. I don't know if I did that or that's just a malfunction in the product, but just keep an eye out that I have had a few mishaps with this, like the fact that if I leave the handle down, it will eventually fall. Now we reach the plate for your camera. It has a cork design. I can just take it off using this cool lever system. You twist it, and then you can slide it out sideways, and then you can just attach it to your camera using this little knob, and then slide it back on, and you're good to go. The handle's quite comfortable. It has a foam pad, so you can pan pretty easily and comfortably. If you want some side-by-side -side footage, here is me using a photography tripod. I just have a Lego off to the side here, so here you go. And as you can see, it works fairly well, although it is a bit jittery. Oh, what's this knob do? Ah. As you can see, it's pretty good, although it's a little bit shaky. And if we put the Magnus next to it, bam. Look at how smooth that looks. It is infinitely better. I can say that this is well worth the $80. So if you're looking at a budget tripod that is a fluid head, Take a look at the reviews, make sure people say good stuff about it, and then I say why not, you know? You can always see if it works. So in my opinion, is a mid-ranged fluid head worth 80 bucks or so? And I would say yes. And that is so far, but it looks like it will hold up for quite a long time. It is a solid metal design with some very strong plastic, and I think it will serve very well in the future. So if you've been holding off on a nice fluid head tripod, I say go ahead and get it. That is my review of the Magnus VT300. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's my first gear review. So if you enjoyed, why not like the video and come join me next time in Creative Space.